What's up guys, Headphones Neil here, back with my thoughts on um, Android 12's new design language in the form of Material U. And I guess technically it's not really new, it's more of an update to Material Design. Um, as far as a feature that I've enjoyed in Custom Live Wallpaper Maker, and um, see that, they're, that Google is working on making that an easier thing to integrate as far as a system level feature so if you saw the keynote if you're or if you haven't seen the um, latest news on android 12 what google is talking about is um adding a feature starting with the pixel line of phones and then later integrating them um, for all other phones is the ability to theme your system ui and um widgets and various other features of the phone based on the wallpaper that you're using so if you t take a look at the phone or my the home screen that i have set up right now if you look at the image on the bottom left of the screen with the lightsabers you'll see that some of the color and visual elements that are in that image um, translate through the rest of the um, home screen so you see the outlines around the weather items and notification items are kind of that um, dull gold look. Same thing with the um, dates, so like Sunday the 23rd and Monday the 24th um, match up. If you look at the battery meter, it's a gradient between the dull gold and red. The text for the today's, the current time and date are also red. So basically the visual elements that are extracted from the colors of the, or the colors that are extracted from the image translate through the rest of the um, home screen so you might be asking how this is set up and that's using uh, an app called custom live wallpaper maker so um, it's an app that's been around for some time that lets you select an image and extract those very colors based on the image so for example if I go into my time and calendar settings and border and then paint you can um, set up a formula for example or just extract color from an image um, where for example in my case if music is playing extract the color from the current the media's cover image and I'll get to that in a second to show it off um, or if music is not playing it extracts the color from the um, from the image that's set so I have that set up for all my various border options so this is something that custom live wallpaper has been um, doing for a while but it's one of those things where if you're an intermediate to advanced user i mean technically anyone can set it up if you go in and set those variables but for most people it's a lot of steps that um, people don't want to take because it takes time to set up and you know, it is not something that's i don't want to say it's not intuitive because it's pretty straightforward especially after all this time that the app has been getting updated but it's one of those things that takes time to set up because you do need to know how to go into that, play around with it, make sure it's set up how you want. Um, getting rounded corners, for example, is a pretty simple setting, setting up with um, options and things like that, and then setting it up based on various screen size. That if you want to publish uh, your custom live wallpaper to the Google Play Store, takes knowledge and time and a desire to set up. So a lot of people don't want to do that. So seeing Google introduce a feature with this color extraction idea is a definite plus. Um, and to set up an example, so if I go into my, so what I did to make it easy for myself is rather than go into each individual element and um, change the color based on the wallpaper one at a time is if you go into pick image um, you can go into your gallery or Google Photos and change the image based on other images you have in your um, collection. So if you, so the picture I set up here, I changes the colors and elements based on that color to a little bit of orange and um, dull red. If I go into, go back into my gallery and pick a different image, um, you see a little bit more of a blue and yellow um, tint is applied. So um, this is something that Android 12 promises to do just by setting your wallpaper and adds a side benefit or a side update in the form of widgets by adding a more rounding option and unified look and feel there and tinting your widgets. So when you um, when you see items like on my home screen with the weather 
and the temperature if you install a widget that supports the Android 12 um, theming options that you'll be able to it'll, or it will be able to automatically detect the colors from your wallpaper and make those adjustments on the fly so it kind of simplifies the options that you or what you get using custom live wallpaper maker to the point where you don't have to do a lot of it um, ideally so, and then I guess it's something that will also translate over to your notification drawer so you can see for example for mine that I have this blue tint but it doesn't um, translate from the wallpaper that I'm currently using because the system level doesn't system doesn't support it so with Android 12 that's something that will um, be supported by default so you don't have to do that manually so I'm gonna start playing some music now just so you can see kind of the setup that I have set up so when music is playing um, and that can be any music app on your device um, or specific sets so for example if you have um, in my case antenna pod for podcasts music olay for um, local music and then youtube um, i don't want this to pull the um, color image and track information from youtube just because it's not necessary or even from twitter or facebook or any other music app or any other app that can play media i just want it from my podcast and mp podcast app and mp3 player so I have those settings set in um, custom live wallpaper maker. So when music is playing, it ex it pulls the cover image as you can see, and it ex it changes my system my home screen's color options to match the color image or the um, colors based on that album art. Um, I also have the progress bar set to use the muted and vibrant colors. So the base level color is the muted color and then the progress shows a vibrant color just to have a slight offset in that tint. If the colors in the image are kind of uniform, it kind of falls apart from there. So you don't really get a progress bar, um, but you do get... Uh, basically you still get a slight tint if you can notice it but for the most part most albums have multiple colors so um you can see the progress bar going um progressing as the music plays and custom live wallpaper maker introduced in a recent update i want to say within the past year maybe the past few months to um have a visualizer it's some a setting that i'm still getting kind of used to playing with but i have that set up as you can see why the um, album art is flickering is kind of a um, visualizer so I know aside from the progress bar and the um, time of the track that um, there is music playing so just a slight bit of animation as far as having a visual touch on my home screen but as you can see as um, the music is playing my home screen colors change and adjust so Having this built into Android 12 and later versions is going to, to me, in my opinion, be a nice feature that um, it will make it simple, easier to customize your home screen and make it more uniform. So finding a weather app once this is released for all phones, notably because I'm on a OnePlus device rather than a Pixel, um, is going to be a nice feature just to have the weather widget maybe a notifications widget which is something that i like having on my home screen um will make it more interesting to theme the device and i'm hoping that developers can use this functionality going forward so if i do use custom live wallpaper maker that i can ha that android 12 and later can theme based on what's in custom live wallpaper maker so if a global variable image is set or if um, android can read what's in a live wallpaper as far as colors go and extract that and theme the system then that will be a definite plus so that's really all there is for this review overall i like that bit of news it's a nice progression of the material design in the form of material u um, there are various other um, privacy items and th um, things that um, Google did bring up and talk about as far as um, location um, customization as far as how much location um, developers and ad networks can tr um, access, um, how much your cam camera settings your um, third-party people can access and things like that. So 
overall the security and privacy stuff is something that's been going on as far as the past couple of um iterations of the android system so it's not anything that i mean it's never really anything that's uh flashy or fancy or anything like that but google is looks like it's taking it seriously and is progressing that every year so the focus for me this time around was the material you and being able to um access and update um the home screen and notification ui based on your current um wallpaper so that's all there is for um this particular post i just wanted to get some thoughts and ideas out there and kind of share why material U is an important update to um, android as far as the visual elements go and there are various other elements like um, animations and textures and things like that but um, from what it sounds like it's coming to android 12 on pixel phones first and then will roll out over the coming year to other devices so i'm not sure if that will be part of android 12 or um in android 13 or maybe between um android 12 and 13 as far as maybe like in something we haven't seen for a while but like android 12.1 or 12.2 or something like that where they enable the feature for other devices or as part of a background system update other device it'll become available to other uh, manufacturers so samsung and oneplus and xiaomi and all those other manufacturers can use them so that's like i said that's all there is for this particular um um episode so if you're listening to this on audio you can check out the um video version to check out the visual elements um on youtube at youtube.com slash patel n01 the cover art for this particular post does have screenshots of kind of an idea of what it looks like by having music not play versus um, a podcast playing i believe it was android central and then um just a random track that i was listening to play i think it was no use for a name or something like that so um you can kind of get a simple idea by looking at the image but the uh, video version does have um, more tracks so you can see the um, ho- my home screen colors change based on a variety of different tracks so um, that's all there is for that so like I said the uh, video version is available on YouTube at youtube.com slash Patel N01 you can uh, find this episode and all past episodes and subscription links of supporting the show and all of that good stuff on YouTube or on the website on the website at headphonesneal.reviews and of course if you want to support the show get bonus content and um, things like that you can find it find my the podcast on uh, patreon at patreon.com slash patel n01 but thanks for tuning into this particular episode um, and thanks for being a supporter and subscriber to the show and until next time